Sid James, Joan Sims, Barbara Windsor, Kenneth Connor, Bernard Breslau, Jack Douglas, and Peter Butterworth in Carry On Christmas. about it all, my dear. Huh? <laughs> oh, that man. Run along, my dear. Yes, Mr. Sibley. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. What's all this then? Breakfast sausage. I see. And you think it entirely appropriate that Father Christmas should be seen eating a breakfast sausage sandwich? No. But you start telling my old woman that. <clears throat> Put it away, please. <laughs> <laughs> Bleeding old crow, that woman of mine. What does she care about the spirit of Christmas? You know, last night when I got into bed, I made one reasonable request. What do you think she said? Put that wretched thing away! How did you <laughs> Mr. Bolter! Yeah? I would prefer that you did not eat whilst you're on the job. She said that and all. <laughs> Mr. Bolter, you are on duty here from nine until five. Oh, yes, but with reasonable time allowed for natural functions. Yeah, but that is purely to allow you for, for time to visit the toilets. All right, I'll finish it in there. <laughs> no, look, I'm warning you, Belter. And I'm warning you, mate. Don't you try to teach me how to do my job. Do I teach you how to touch up the girl assistants? <laughs> now listen to me, Belter. And hey, you listen to me, mate. <laughs> I mean, I, I might only do this one month in the year, but I take it very seriously. I mean, I, I, I prepare for it. Look at the gear. I think about it. Look at those boots. Real leather. And look at that. Did you ever see a Father Christmas with Bertram and other pants? All right, all right. Go on, go to the loo. Go on. G guzzle your knickers. Trim your sandwiches. I, 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 see if I care, do you hear? Stop being a naughty girl. Oh, my God. Customers. Come on. Oh, I don't want to see the grey owl grow. <laughs> You'll see it and like it. Now come on and stop scratching your bottom. Ho, ho, ho. Daddy Christmas. Oh, I don't want to see Daddy Christmas. I want to see Last Tango in Paris. <laughs> You'll see him and like it. Oh, be fair. All the go other girls have seen it. Some of them even took their mums and dads. I don't care. This is your Christmas treat and you're going to enjoy it if I have to beat the living daylights out of you. Now, come on. <laughs> There's Daddy Christmas. Father Christmas wishes joy to every little girl and boy. Ring out, ring out the joyous bells for all little boys and girls. Oh, wow. Is he balmy or something? Hold your noise and say hello nicely to Father Christmas. <coughs> Dear little soul. Well, I'm sorry. She doesn't mean it. She's only 13. Get away. Yeah, she is rather big for her age. You can say that again. It's not padding either. Some of the girls have to shove cotton wool down there, but I don't have to. Here, do you want to see? No, Daddy Christmas does not want to see. Do you mind, madam? I can speak for myself. <laughs> Now, what's your name, darling? Oh, here we go again. Virginia. And now Mum says we call her Virgin for short. And you say, but not for long. All right. <laughs> Bit forward for her age, isn't she? Yes, well, we had a French student staying with us. I think she got it from him. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> well, now then. What do you want to be when you grow up? 44, 22, 36. Well, you're certainly going in the right direction. I mean, uh, what would you like to work at? Oh, don't be soppy. With measurements like that, you don't have to work. <laughs> oh, Virginia, I think it's time we went home. Here, boy, I haven't had my prison yet. You don't deserve one. Well, I have to pay 50p to get in. No, 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 she's quite right. Fair's fair. She must have a little prison from Santa, mustn't she? Yeah. Well, what are you going to give me? <laughs> yeah, well, you're making it hard for me, but... Um... <laughs> How about a little yo-yo? I don't like them. I know. A lovely little fairy. Oh, like the one that comes and does mum's hair. No. Here. He's got a little yo-yo. I've seen it. There must be something she likes. Oh, there is. Would you like me to tell you? Yes. 
Well, do you any of the, those pop-up storybooks? Yes. Which one would you like? Lady Chatley's lover. <laughs> What's the use? Well, she never has been one for children's games. Well, there must be something she likes doing. Oh, there is. Apart from that. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? This! Come here, you little... I'll tell you! <laughs> What's the matter with the children these days? It's the permissiveness, that's what it is. Why can't we all go back to being cavemen? Now, I know that was a rough and ready existence. I mean, the fellas were always rough, and the girls were always ready. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Oh, glory be to God on high and to the earth be peace. Good will is fall from heaven to men and glory. Right. Here. No, you did it again. Did what? Sung a bum note. It wasn't me, it was you. Me? You sung far when you should have done so. You know your trouble. Here you don't know your far so well in the ground. <laughs> Two, three, mother caught a flea, put it in a teapot and made it come free. Flea jumped out, mother gave a shout, here comes father with his shirt hanging out. Myself, can I? Well, I don't see why not. Other children do. Always by myself. Why can't I have a little brother or sister? Well, you better ask your father that. I did, last night. What did he say? Shut up and go to sleep. Yeah, well, that's why you haven't got a little brother and sister. It's not difficult, you know. I asked Hengist about it, and he said that his mother and father went to bed, they made funny noises, and then they had also. Look, never mind that. Do something useful. Decorate the tree. It's already decorated. Well, Look. There must be something you can do. There is. Well, do it then. Right. <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> I must have dropped off for a minute. <laughs> How long have I been asleep? Since October. <laughs> we nearly buried you twice. <laughs> October, eh? Oh, you have grown. <laughs> what time is it? Christmas. Christmas. Oh, oh, I love Christmas, I do. What have we got for dinner, eh? <laughs> Is it pterodactyl? No, it's not. We're having brontosaurus, the same as usual. <sighs> well, the gloves down the road are having pterodactyl. Well, they would. Anything to be different. You've only got to look at their card. Granite. I mean, limestone's not good enough for them. Why don't you like brontosaurus, Grandpa? Well, you see, it's not a bird, is it? Besides, the bone stick in your throat. Here, yeah, Mum. Why can't we have mammoth, just for a change? It's too expensive. It needn't be. In a shop down the road, they're having a mammoth sale. <laughs> well, look, wait and see what your father brings home, if he comes home. Where is where's he going? On a raid. A raid, eh? Who are they raiding? The Angles. Why? Well, the usual, they done us wrong, so he's gone to rot it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's my boy. You know, when he was a nipper, I taught him how to raid and write. Oh! It's Daddy! Daddy! Daddy's back! <laughs> there he is. Come for you, Rago. We don't all come out with joy. What exactly is that? What's what? <laughs> all right, I'll give you three guesses. It's not a pterodactyl, is it? No, but you're getting warm. It's a bird. Oh. Yeah. Have a look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes. Oh, lovely bit of meat on there. You won't go far amongst four of us, you know. Still, might be all right with a bit of stuffing. <laughs> it's not Christmas dinner, you old twit. Then what exactly is she for? Eh? Why have you brought her here? Well, she's my share of the spoils. Go on. Well, I mean, when we rounded the angles, all I had was a couple of donkeys, four bags of oats and her. Uh, and? And we drew lots. And? And I got the booby prize. <laughs> oh, you are a fibber. Here, why don't you tell them what you drew lots with? Oh, we don't want to go into that, do we? <laughs> no, perhaps you're right. Anyway, he had the longest one. <laughs> yeah. Want to see it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we better introduce you. I'm C-Pod. That's my son, Beanpot. Hello. 
My father, Anthropod. Oh. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> and my mate, Senna. Senna <laughs> Coddle? What a funny name. Yes, it runs in the family. <laughs> Look, come on, then. What's your name? Oh, they call me Crumpet. Not far wrong, either. <laughs> Are you an angle? Oh, of course not. I'm a pit. But she knows all the angles. <laughs> I was their captive. Oh, they made me do terrible things like wash their clothes and chop firewood. Really? Was that all? No, but that's all the terrible things. <laughs> <laughs> well, they treated her shocking. They did like an animal. When I found her, she had a great big yoke around her neck. Really? Yes, but we soon had it off. That I can believe. <laughs> oh, yes. She's been awfully good to me, haven't you, C? Well, we, we don't want to go into now, that, Now, I suppose no. you think you're going to move her in here? Well, why not? It's a good idea. She's what the Gauls call an au pair. Yeah, what an au pair. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got another thing coming, C, Todd. It's not room for her and me here. Well, wait a minute, darling. You don't think I want her for myself, do I you? I don't think I know. I promise you, I don't want her. I'll have her. You shall have her. <laughs> well, if she's not for you, who is she for? Hey, oh, uh, what can I? What? Yes. It's Christmas present. Well, for me, Dad? Yes, for being a bad boy. <laughs> Gosh, thanks. What do I do with it? <laughs> Nineteen years old, and he said, what does he do with it? Well, they've had one before. Well, I'll show you some, you see. <laughs> you get out of this. Why not? After all, I taught you everything you know. Well, you're not going to teach him everything I know. Oh, I can show him. You're showing him that already. <laughs> What's your head, R, R, R? Surrender! Don't go fight! Too many of them! Surrender! How do you know it's the angles? They always have a white line down the middle of the road. <laughs> we want our oats! Everybody's the same. There must be something in the air. <laughs> we want the oats you stole from us. We haven't got them, I promise you. Right then, we'll take hostages till you get them back. Hostages? Well, if you must, take me. But don't take my poor old father there. Look at him. He couldn't stand it at his age. Yeah. Take the father. Oh, no. Oh, oh you no, know, I'll shock him. No, please, I'm stringy. Oh, no, I'll shock him. <laughs> Take me. Don't take my son. My poor little son. The only little boy I got. Look at him there. All skin and bone. Don't take him. Go on. Take the boy. Ah. Oh, mercy, mercy, please. Daddy! 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 <laughs> take me, go on. Take me. But don't take my lovely wife standing there in the dark air and the brown fur. She's all I got. Take the wife. Don't oh, laugh. No. <laughs> oh, no. No. All right, mate. Well done, mate. I'm the same to you, sir. You've had your first bit, now I'm going to have mine. <laughs> no, no. Hello. That's coming from the bedding department. Some people. I thought so. How dare you? I was merely trying to show her how to get an overnight bunk up. <laughs> Dirty old man. It's all this permissiveness, you see. Now, you take a typical country house party a few hundred years ago. They managed to have quite a lot of fun without all that. Don't ask me what they did, but they did it. <laughs> Oh, how delightful! I cannot remember when I have had such a gay Christmas ahead. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Oh, it's all been perfect. The carriage ride through the snow, the champagne, your excellent dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, think nothing of it. As Shakespeare would have it, it is better out than in. <laughs> Everybody like a nightcap? Oh, but surely we're not retiring yet, are we? I meant a final drink, my lovely wife. Oh, silly me. Dear me, your dear wife does come out with them, Henry. But only in the privacy of her chamber, I'll be bound. I know. Let's all play a party game, shall we? 
I fear your ladyship has far too much energy for me. How about you, Bishop? Oh, well, I, I must confess, I wouldn't mind popping into bed. Oh, that sounds an exciting game. How do you play it? I fancy the bishop means he's tired, my love. Well, I thought even you would have had enough, Francis. My wife never has enough, ma'am. Oh, but then she is so very much younger than you, isn't she? <laughs> Tis said there's many a good tune played on an old fiddle. Always provided one has enough resin left in one's bowl. <laughs> Always provided one has a bowl. <laughs> well... Catching roads and I aren't thinking of bed, are we? Oh, yes. I mean, no, Your Ladyship. I'd be delighted to be of service. In a game, I mean. <laughs> there. Now, come along, everyone. All right, my love, just a quick one. What shall we play? Well, I must confess I have always had a great weakness for Hunt the Slipper. Oh, that's much too much for my blood, I fear, dear. How about he? I simply adore that. I, I think we should play something that includes the ladies, don't you, Bow? Spoil sport. Do it in that way! Oh, gracious me. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, somebody dropped something there. Oh, damn careless. Uh, have you, you rang, Sir Henry? Yes, crapper. Brandy for the gentleman. Oh, very good, Sir Henry. Ah! Ah, 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 I've done it, Sir Henry. Stuck again, crapper. So am I, Sir Henry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Could you help me, Sir Henry? Are you ready, crapper? Yes, Sir Henry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, Sir Henry. Don't bow again, crapper. Oh, no, no, thank you. Just a moment, crapper. Oh, pardon? Oh. Um, perhaps you know of a party game we could play. Well, there is rather an unusual one we play in the servants' quarters, uh, amongst others. Yes. What, pray, is that? Uh, it's called Postman's Knock, your, your ladyship. Oh, oh, that sounds a fascinating game, doesn't it, Henry? Yes, my love. How do you play it, Crapper? Huh? Over here, Crapper. Ah, yes. How yes. do you play it? Oh, yes, yes. Well, the, the person who is going to play the postman goes out of the room, comes back in and says, I have a letter from a place beginning with P. Say, uh, and the person who guesses the name of the place goes out with the postman. Yes. Stab me backwards, now that could be fun. <laughs> you see, what do you go out with the postman for, Crapper? Well, to, to claim the forfeit, Sir Henry, like, begging your pardon, sir, a, a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my lord, provided they are both of the opposite sexes. Well, now, don't you start. Thank you, Crapper. You may go. Thank you, Your Ladyship. Don't bow, crap. Oh, no, no, of course not. Thank you, thank you, Sir Henry. Most kind. Well, come on, everybody, and sit down, and I'll be postman first. <laughs> well, I must confess, I am rather confused. I mean, supposing my husband here were the postman, and I were to guess correctly. <laughs> well, that would be his bad luck, wouldn't it, Mark? <laughs> Ready, everybody? <laughs> now, I have a letter from somewhere beginning with L. London. No. Uh, Liverpool. No. Leicester. Uh, no. What about you, Captain? Aren't you going to try? Uh, Bristol. Right! Come and claim your forfeit. Just a moment, my love. You said something beginning with L. Oh, that's right. That was to make it harder for the captain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think your wife knows what she's doing, Sir Henry. I wouldn't wager upon that, ma'am. Oh, just a bit of harmless fun. <laughs> as long as she's enjoying her little self. I think there's some more snow on the way. I beg your pardon? More snow on the way. Really? My wife loves it, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately. Much more than I do, I fear. <laughs> Not so fortunate. Yes, as far as I'm concerned, we can't get enough. <laughs> Snow. Oh, yes. Wonderful stuff, Snow. It's wonderful stuff, Snow. Yes, that's what I just said. Uh, care for a pinch of snuff? Filthy habit. Ah, here they are. 
For my guests, Scrapper. Oh, yes. Oh, how, how considerate. Thank you, Sir Henry. Well, Not at all, to note, Oh, I do. Ah, ah, ah. I've done it again. Get out, Crapper. Yes, I'm off it. Oh, I'm terribly. Ah, oh. oh. still. I, uh, I think we'll have it before morning. What? Enough of snowfall. Oh, yes. I wouldn't be at all surprised. Yes, well, if you'll excuse me, I'll just see what's happening to my Fanny. <laughs> Fanny? Fanny? Where are you, Fanny? Fanny? Surely it doesn't take all that long to kiss a woman. My dear sir, why ask me? <laughs> well, here we are, everyone. <laughs> Well, now whose turn is it? What about you? Are you going to have a bash, Bishop? <laughs> it's much too late for me, my dear. You cancer. Mm. And in the king's uniform. Sure, Henry, please. Ask him what he did out there. Where? On the lawn. Oh, that. Oh, well, I did try and find the gentleman's chamber first. Oh, is that all? <laughs> is that all? Do you know what he did? He wrote his name in the snow. <laughs> Most men at some times are tempted to... Uh, <laughs> it's not so terrible, really, to write your name in the snow. I agree. But it wasn't his handwriting. <laughs> I do, sir. You're an off, Jeremy. You want 38 to win. Not damn mate, that skill. Have a look at this. 18. Right. Happy Christmas, all. Yeah, not while way. we're playing darts. Oh, no, sorry. Got, got a good match on it. I'm the uh, Father Christmas from the shop up the road. Look, not while I'm trying, mate, please. Oh, on, <laughs> I thought I'd pop out and have a goodwill drink with somebody. How's that? 18, you want double one? Bloody hell. <laughs> I, I, I clean forgot I didn't bring any money with me. 20, bust. Oh, that's bad luck. Here, why don't you b off? <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? What's happened to the spirit of Christmas? I mean, people don't seem to have time for each other anymore, do they? I mean, you remember those lovely stories about the blokes in the trenches in the First World War? All that comradeship and brotherly love. Wish I was there now. Oh, it's only you, sir. All quiet, Private? I beg your pardon, sir. I said, is it all quiet? <laughs> trying to say, sir? I said, is it all quiet? Oh, just me. <laughs> yeah, it's all quiet now, sir. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Like a bit of corned beef, sir? I don't like it at all. Neither do I, but you've got to eat something. <laughs> Away, private parking, oh. and get rid of these sods. All right. No, 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 not those. 
who salts these salts. <laughs> oh, that's enough, private pocket. Shh. There's someone out there. Where? I can't see. Oh, my God. It sounds as though he's coming this way, sir. Oh, who goes there? to keep your flaming great mouth shut. Well, how the hell was I know to know it was you, Sergeant? Look what you're doing to me, bleeding rifle! <laughs> I never touched your bleeding rifle. I'll oh, straighten it out of your bloody bunch. Oh, As in that, Sergeant Ball, and your private parking. Well, sir. I know we've been out there two years, but we mustn't let ourselves go to pieces. Now shake hands and make up. There's good chaps. Come on, shake. That's it. Now then. No more argy about it. Oh, eh? No, no, all palsy wowsy, sir. Good. Now then, Sergeant Ball, what were you doing out in no man's land? What was I doing? I was on a blooming recce, wasn't I? Reconnaissance? Well, if I may say so, that sounds like a damn stupid idea. You should know it was yours. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Daily orders. Friday, 24th of December, 1917, 10 Pip Emma. Sergeant Bill Ball to carry out reconnaissance patrol. Yes, but I didn't mean it on, on your own, you blithering idiot. I meant with a section of privates. We haven't got any privates left. They were all cut off in the last attack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you talk to me like that. It's... it's... Christmas Eve. What are you on about, slab face? The 24th of December. That's Christmas Eve. So it is. I wonder. I wonder what they do. All doing it home now. Decorating the Christmas tree. Kissing the birds under the mistletoe. Mixing the pud. Hanging up the stockings. Kissing more birds under the mistletoe. <laughs> Wrapping up the presents. Bringing in the Yule log. Even kissing a bleeding old woman under the mistletoe. <laughs> oh, no. Sergeant Ball, Merry Xmas, old boy. And you, Captain F in Berkshire. Happy Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas, Parkin. And you, Sarge. And you. Oh, Sarge. Oh, Sarge. Oh, I wish I'd have been a mistletoe now. Oh, can you? <laughs> it's not going to be much of a Christmas for us chaps out here, but we'll do our darndest to make... Shh! What is it, Sarge? Somebody coming up the trench. Leave it to me. Oh, who goes there? Annie. Annie. Couple of frogs, sir. <laughs> Advance, Annie, and give the password. Derrière? Derrière? I said password. Oh, pardon, monsieur. Venez, Fifi. C'est tout bien. This is Fifi. And uh, I am called Adele. All right, Sergeant, put your weapon down. Pardon? <laughs> They're mademoiselles. Great Scott, so they are. Where are you ladies from? Oh, you're the ones we've been hearing about. <laughs> but ladies, you're right up at the front. Oh, so you have noticed, <laughs> so see? No, no, no. This is the front line. You're in jeopardy. No, 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 sir. We're in Picardy. <laughs> but uh, we are not frayed, Captain. Oh, no. Just a bit worn round the edges. <laughs> Besides, it is Christmas Eve, and I say to Fifi, think of the poor English soldiers out there. My heart bleeds for them. Oh, we, and I say to Adele, we will pop out and cheer them up. And if you do pop out, you'll cheer me up, my brother. <laughs> Besides, at home, we have nothing to eat, nothing to drink, and nothing to do. And I say to Fifi, maybe these English soldiers have something they would like to do for us, eh? No? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Uh, I've got half a tin of corned beef. Put it away, Private Parkin. I don't think that was quite what the ladies had in mind. At least, I hope not. Uh, well, ladies, we'd be delighted to share what we have with you, but what about us, eh? What? What do you mean, Capitan? Well, there's nothing like a bit of the old tit for tat, eh? Not that we got any tat, eh? Oh, the entente cordial, eh? Oh, oui, oui, oui. <laughs> They got it, sir, the message, yeah. Oh, we, I say to Adele, we may be poor, but we have got some things that they have not got up there. Or down there, either. <laughs> you would like to see it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adele. 
Yeah, come Joey on. Joey Tuesday. Come on. <laughs> voilà. <laughs> voilà. Oui, the music for the carols, no? <laughs> All together now. <laughs> They're singing our tune. Tommy! <laughs> Anybody here called Tommy? <laughs> it is one of the names they call English soldiers, Captain. Ah, oui, yes, of course. Uh, Tommy, uh, did you want something? Tommy, this is Christmas night. No fightings. No what? No fightings. Oh. We come, make friends. I don't believe it, Jack. It may be a trap, but we must be prepared for anything. Ladies, get into the dugout and keep quiet. Here. Yeah. I'm wishing you a Merry Christmases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, and peace on you. Not from up there, mate. <laughs> By Jove. By Jove, they mean it. They want to be friends. Yeah, yeah. Friends, as it comes. Come on, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is an historic occasion. Well, don't just stand there. Come on in, chaps. Come on in, chaps. Yes, come on. 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 Saying nothing, sir, Ober Lieutenant. Eatings, drinkings, being merries for tomorrow. Hey, wait a minute. I've got a bottle of scotch here. Oh, what is that? I've got Shotty. something too. Oh, Come on. Yeah. 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 Here we are. Oh. Christmas pudding, my mum's. That is, that, that is ein Mutti. And seeing this is a very special occasion. Hmm? Herr Ober Lieutenant, what is that? Bonbons. Bonbons? <laughs> Bonbons? This is too much. <laughs> Chaps. For this one evening, we will agree to share everything. Yes. It is safe to come out now? Ah, und das, Fräulein? Oh, das ist wunderbar, ja. Ja, komm, lieb Jane. Just a minute, Fritzi. But you're saying we're sharing everything. Oh, yes, everything, but not this. This is mine, mate. Tell you! I had my eye on that one. You're not pulling rank on me, are you? Certainly not. You can have the other one. You can have the other one. Neither of you are going to get any of them if you don't look sharp. Look at that. I say, that's the second bit you've had, and the bit I didn't get. Then I make marvellous toys today. Look at that. <laughs> oh, blimey. It's lifelike, isn't it? <laughs> What's this? Pocket billiards. <laughs> oh, but wait till you hear this. This is my favourite, this one. Isn't that lovely? I can watch that for hours and hours and hours. Mary Chase. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, love, I haven't got my trousers on. Well, I am merely interested in collecting money, sir. Yeah, but my money's in my trousers. Oh, um... well, then some other time. Oh, excuse me, aren't you the people who say fallen women? Oh, that's right, we are. Save me one for tomorrow night, will you? <laughs> what about me? Yeah, what about you? <laughs> Shouldn't take a mickey, you know. They do a lot of good. And we could have a lot more of that about these days. What about the greatest do-gooder of them all, Robin Hood? That must have been a lovely time there in Sherwood Forest. Robin Hood, his merry men, Maid Marion, which he did from Monday to Friday. <laughs> no, far, 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 Now listen to the story of Robin Hood, who thought of a way of doing good. That none had ever be thought before. <laughs> Pardon. Twas to take from the rich and give to the poor. Soon Robin had merry men flocking to his forest den. Men like Will Scarlet and Friar Talk. Men who didn't give a fig. Oh, look at that. I'm fed up with this rotten, stinking porridge. Well, at least it puts warm in your belly. What good is warmth in your belly unless you've got lead in your arrow? Perhaps we'll have some meat tomorrow. Could, could be. Robin went out hunting deer. Look, love, you'll have to stop calling me that in front of the others. <laughs> I'm fed up with this wretched camp. Well, I'm sorry, but we're not all built the same, you know. <laughs> oh, tis no life for aging bones. Say that again. By heaven, it's cold, all right. What? It's cold enough to fe freeze the walls of a brass monastery. Oh, why? List! I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, list! Methought I heard a horn did blow. Oh, me did. <laughs> Could be the sheriff's man. The sheriff? Well, I'm ready for him. Right. <laughs> Take a look at here, Ross. <laughs> oh, I wish you'd stop picking on me. Ah, uh, it is only old Robin. Oh, oh. Hey. hello, Rob. <laughs> I shot an arrow in the air. It fell to earth. I know not where. I'll show you. <laughs> 
should have turned the other cheek. <laughs> the other cheek. Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> Man, the sheriff has put a price on me, Ed. The sheriff? Oh, do tell us, Rob. Well, it was like this. The sheriff oh, of no, Notts, it no. must be told, vowed to catch this outlaw bold. Proclaimed I've a rope ready hanging from the roof to hang this Lincoln green clad boot. Do you mind? <laughs> well, I'm supposed to be the ballad singer. And a right load of ballads you come out with. <laughs> oh, all, right. all right, tell the story yourself then. You've already told it, haven't you? What's the matter with you lot today? I'll tell you what's the matter. We're fed up with conditions in this camp. Yeah. The truth is, Robin, we ain't getting past it. You speak for yourself, mate. There's plenty of twang left in my bow. Well, I can't stand another winter in Sherwood. Cos of my rheumatism, I'm all bent. <laughs> you can't blame the rheumatism for that. <laughs> well, look at all the good we're doing. Robin the rich, giving to the poor. But it's also old-fashioned. You want to think up a new idea. You've been talking to my old woman again, haven't you? Huddle? Maid Marion. Oh, oh God. Marion was a maid much after sought. Pure and chaste, but never caught. Until one day it came to pass. She slipped off a horse and fell on her arm. Thank you! <laughs> He'll have to go. Oh, and so will we. Come on, brothers. Let's go and have a little... All right, go then. Go on, go. Who cares? See if I care. I have to go with the boys, Rob. Yes, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not afraid to be alone. I'm afraid of nobody. Nothing frightens me. Is that you, Robin Hood? Yes, 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 yes. And high time. Just where have you been these past three days? Oh, you know, Robin and Rich giving to the poor. A likely tale. Well, I, I did cock a snook at the sheriff in Nottingham. I knew it. Never a thought for me. You did do it 20 years ago, don't you remember? In the forest glade, there was a lover and his lass with a hay and a hoe and a nonny no. But you never gave me a chance to get to the no. Oh, don't leave me. I couldn't live without you. I'll follow you anywhere into hell itself. If I'm it's... going home to my mother. That's what I just said. Oh! Well, there you are. Nobody here now. Just me, no Mary. No, Marion, just my trusty friend. Hi, about. Hello, uh, who's that? Must be the sheriff's men, or they won't get me alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the bloody same after a night in Nottingham. <laughs> Don't you come any closer. I've got you covered. Which is more than I can say for that gown of yours. What are you afraid of? I'm not going to do anything. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, put your bow down. What about them? Oh, they're just a harmless pair. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Sir, perhaps you can be of assistance to me with something. Name it. Well, no doubt you have heard of our noble King Richard. Oh, yes. I'm very fond of Dick. Oh, me too. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm seeking a band of outlaws who are still loyal to him. Madam, your quest is over. What mean you? I am the leader of that very band of outlaws, Robin Hood himself. Oh, yes. I remember hearing about you now. Yes? Yes, when I was a little girl. Oh. <laughs> My nanny used to call you a leg end. No, madam, the word is legend. Oh, oh silly me. <laughs> introduce myself. I am the Lady Francis. Lady Francis? From the city of Bristol. Of course. Where else? I have come to join your band. What, you? A lady of quality? Yes, and rich to boot. I never boot rich women. <laughs> well, I have no further need of you. You may return home to Bristol. Oh, and thank you for humping me all the way here. <laughs> Robin, what do I have to do to join? 
Uh, well, just a small initiation ceremony, a, a mere familiarity, a uh, formality. <laughs> well, let us proceed with it at once. Yes, well, we usually have it in the arbour. Oh, what fun! I had no idea we were by the sea. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not that arbour, this arbour. Oh, yes, silly me. <laughs> <laughs> now, for this initiation ceremony, will it be necessary for me to remove any clothing? Well, it could come in handy. Oh. Yeah, but, but don't take it all off. No. <laughs> Keep your shoes on. Oh. <laughs> Robbie! Robbie! Oh, Robbie, yes. thank goodness you're still here. You've come back, have you? Oh, Robin, please. It's no good crying to stay with me. We're not crying to stay with you. We can't find our way out of the bloody forest. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Oh! <laughs> Me. All right, these are my merry men. Lady Frances, she's going to join us. Yes! Liver of blessing. Have you never seen quality before? Yes, I've, I've come to join the band, and Robin was about to give me the initiation ceremony. Oh, what initiation ceremony? You mind your own business. <laughs> I can keep my shoes on, you said? Yes. What do you have to keep my shoes on for? Get out, go on, off it, get out of the forest. I don't need you. Go on, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Come on, Will. There's nothing here for us. Let's go. No, no, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, man, we're not going to leave now. Why not? It, Robin's found a new idea. Oh, What's yeah. that? <laughs> He's given it to the rich. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Mr. Sibley. Happy Christmas. And a happy Christmas to you, Belcher. And I'm sorry for what I said. Oh, thank you. Well, well, well. This shows you what Christmas does to some people, doesn't it? I mean, when else do you find such a genuine feeling of goodwill, friendship, and giving? What's going on here? I'm giving you a ticket, sir. <laughs> you know what you can do with that? Don't you speak to me like that. Nickers. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this, then? He won't accept this ticket, officer. I see. <laughs> Is this your vehicle, sir? <laughs> Stupid bloody question. Oh, going to be awkward too, are you? Right. Can I have your full name, please, sir? Santa Claus. S A. -S Oh, a joker and all. Come on, let's have you. Get, get your hands off, mate. This is a time for goodwill and friendship. Happy Christmas. And you. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas.